In this HVACR training video, we're going over how to install surge protection along with the electrical whip from the electrical disconnect to a mini split unit. We're gonna work on the power wiring from here to the unit, and we have to run the power wiring through flexible conduit, and we're gonna be running 10 gauge wire because of the max fuse or the max breaker size of this unit. So first step is to verify that our power's off with our multimeter, our multimeter set on voltage. And so we're gonna go from one to the other, we see no voltage. And then from one leg to the ground, no voltage. And the other one to the ground, no voltage. So right now the breaker's off. The next thing that we need to do is dry fit this seal tight. So we're gonna go from here. So we have these two holes already mounted. This is an existing disconnect box and we're just mounting to it. And we're gonna be running this seal tight down to the line set and then up right up to here. And so we can go ahead and cut that with our PVC cutter. And so I'm gonna cut this to length right here. And next we're gonna to need to fish our wiring through this. So we're gonna need two legs and our ground wire. And so we can just run our electrical lines through here. We're also gonna be putting surge protection on this disconnect box and that's gonna be on the load side, which is the wiring that's going to this. See, we have this uh, just in the non-connected position right now, but first I wanna connect and run my wiring here. So we've electrical taped all of our wires together and we're gonna stick them in here and we're gonna fish through to the other side. All right, so we got out the other side now. So these are, these are good. These wires are referred to as THHN wire or THWN. And so these are the ones that you would wanna use. These are stranded wires. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut this down. So now that we have this here, we're gonna also wanna put our section of our connector so this is gonna go here, and this is gonna go on the end. So we're good to go here. Now I wanna put my connectors in here. We're gonna need one for the power wiring and one for the communication wiring. gauge We're gonna put this back on just temporarily and then we're gonna move up to the upper disconnect and we're gonna work there. We're gonna come back to this to do the communication line afterwards. So we're mounting our surge protection on this electrical disconnect uh, in order to protect the outdoor unit printed circuit board from any lightning strikes or over voltage. Now check with your local jurisdictions as far as who can do the electrical wiring from the disconnect to the outdoor unit and install the surge protection. But in this case, a master license holder in the state of New Jersey is allowed to do this.
So this surge protection is there in order to protect the mini split control board from any say lightning strikes or anything like that. And this goes on the load side. So that is the one that's connected from here to the outdoor unit. So I hope this video on the installation of surge protection has helped you understand how to protect your mini split unit electrical circuit boards from any lightning strikes or voltage irregularities. And if you're looking for this Ditec surge protector, I have it linked down in the description section below. If you want to learn more about mini split service and installation, make sure to check out our website over at acservicetech.com where we have a bunch of resources there. So I hope you enjoyed yourself and we'll see you next time at the AC Service Tech channel.